Hey guys, it's Zach from the ConCon Con channel, and in this video, I'm going to show you where all the awakened wine worm locations can be found in Black Myth Wukong. Now, the first location is going to be by the Blackwind Mountain, and you'll need to progress until you get to the cave interior, which is in chapter one. Once you're here, you can then just follow me. And once you get here, you should see a barrel that is green. And if you break it, you should get the Awakened Wine Worm. Now the next Awakened Wine Worm location is going to be found in Chapter 2 by the Yellowwind Ridge. And you need to progress until you get to the Sandgate Village and the Valley of Despair Shrine. Once you're here, you can then follow where I go. And once you get here, you should see the green barrel and you can go ahead and break it. Now the next Awakened Wine Worm can be bought from the Shen Monkey in Chapter 1 in the Blackwind Mountains. Now you'll need to get to the Bamboo Grove and the Marsh of White Mist Shrine. Once you're here, you can just follow me to get to the monkey. And once you get to the monkey, you can then talk to him. And then you can go to store, buy, and you should see the option to buy an Awakened Wine Worm. Now the next Awakened Wine Worm can be found in the New West, which is Chapter 3. You'll then need to go to the Pagoda Realm and then the Manny Wheel Shrine. Once you're here, you can then follow my lead. And once you get here, you should see the barrel to get the Awakened Wine Worm. Now the next worm can also be found in the New West, but you need to travel until you get to the Valley of Ecstasy and then the Longevity Road Shrine. Once you're here, you can then follow my lead. And once you get here, you should see the Awakened Wine Worm Barrel at the top. Now all you need to do is just go around, up onto the ledge, and then you can go ahead and break it. Now after completing Chapter 3, you can then head back to the Blackwind Mountain and go to the Bamboo Grove and Marsh of White Mist Shrine to then go to the Shen Monkey and buy an Awakened Wine Worm. So once you're at the monkey, you can talk to him, then you can go to his store and go to buy and then you should be able to buy another wine worm. Now the next worm can be found in chapter 4, the webbed hollow, and you'll need to get to the village of Langsy and then the estate of the zoo. Once you're here, you can then follow me. And all you need to do is come to this corner here and the barrel should be right over here. Now the next wine worm can be found in the webbed hollow again, and you need to go to the temple of yellow flowers and get to the temple entrance shrine. Once you're here, you can then follow my lead. And once you get here, among these other barrels should be the barrel with the wine worm in it. Now the next wine worm can be found in the webbed hollow. Now you need to unlock the secret purple cloud mountain area. I'll have a video to that link down in the description below. But once you get to the cloud mountain, you need to get to the petal for Hamlet shrine. Once you're here, you can then follow my lead. And once you get up to these barrels, you should see the green barrel for the Awakened Wine Worm. Now, after completing Chapter 4, if you head back to the Shen Monkey, you'll be able to go to his store, 
go to buy and you'll be able to buy another awakened wine worm now the next wine worm can be found at the furnace valley in the flaming mountains which is chapter five now you'll need to get to the rakshasa palace shrine once you're here you can follow my lead And once you get inside, you should see the green barrel glowing over here. Now, the last one is going to be found in the secret Bishui cave in the Flaming Mountains, which is chapter five. Now you'll need to make it all the way to the corridor of fire and ice shrine. I'll put a link down in the description below on how to get this secret area, but you can just follow me. And once you turn to the left here, you should see the barrel right over here. It's been Zach from the Con Con channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.